Kilauea rumble in. Lava shoots 30-story building high into Hawaiian sky. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has shown its fury again. Early Tuesday morning, the world's most active volcano ejected a 330-foot, about 100 meters plume of incandescent lava from its summit crater, creating a fiery red-hot night sky over the island of Hawaii. This phenomenon marks the 32nd such eruption since Kilauea's eruption series began in December 2024. Fortunately, all the lava flow has so far been contained within the Halima Yuma Summit Crater, located within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Shortly after midnight, a fissure on the north side of the crater opened, spewing red-hot lava. A few hours later, similar eruptions erupted from the south side, and even from a newly formed third vent. The magma chamber beneath Helimanuma receives a direct supply of magma from deep within the Earth at a rate of about 3.8 cubic meters per second, explains Ken Han, chief scientist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This incredible pressure is what causes the magma to push upward, penetrate narrow fissures, and erupt into the air like champagne being shaken and then uncorked. In some episodes, lava jets have even shot more than 300 meters into the sky, higher than the Eiffel Tower. This astonishing phenomenon occurs because gases trapped in the magma explode with tremendous force upon reaching the surface. Kilauea is no ordinary volcano. Located on the Big Island of Hawaii, about 320 kilometers south of Honolulu, it is known as one of the most active on Earth. In the last 200 years, it has only displayed repeated lava fountains like this one four times. A similar pattern occurred during the 1959, 1969, and 1983 eruptions. The 1983 eruption lasted more than three decades, ending in 2018, with lava flowing relentlessly and creating new landforms in Hawaii. Will history repeat itself? Scientists don't yet know. This eruption could simply stop if the magma supply weakens. However, if pressure continues to build, Kilauea could reopen cracks in its lower slopes, triggering wider and longer lava flows. To understand the volcano's movements, experts use a network of seismic sensors and sophisticated instruments that detect tiny vibrations and changes in the angle of the ground. This data provides clues as to when magma begins to rise or fall. Our job is like an ant trying to understand an elephant, said On. This volcano is so large and complex, yet we can only observe it from the surface. <laughs>